Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I didn't think I'd be doing this video so soon, I'll be completely honest. But I wanted to get this one out quickly just to make people aware if they're having the exact same issues as me. I've seen a few people across social media having the same problems. So I thought I'd post it up to make people aware if maybe they're not as quick about cleaning cars or whatnot. But basically let's cut to it. IMM, the fields were atrocious. The, the, the weather was bad, it wasn't kind to us. The weekend was great. But the weather wasn't kind to us. <coughs> My car, or well, both our cars, got completely caked in mud. Um, whether you went for a drive around the campsite because you wanted to see everything, or just generally getting in and out to get your, your bits and pieces you needed, or when you're leaving. For me, I was on the way back from the main hall after meeting up with some of the other YouTube guys. Um, Ploughed through the field as normal, you know, pottering along. You, you sort of trying to avoid as much as the crap as possible, but it's inevitable. It's going to hit your car. It's going up it. I'm going to swing you around to this side of the car I've dealt with, but I'm going to swing you around to the other side of the car. I'm going to show you what I mean. Basically, it's almost like, the best way to describe it is when you have like bird poo or something like that that sort of sticks to your car and leaves a very flat spot in your lacquer. Now, <clears throat> I've washed my car last night. I heard a few people having a bit of concerns about it. I was going to wash my car anyway, but I, as soon as I heard more people have concerns, especially for the Manchester lot that we travelled up and down with, um, I thought, right, I need to get out there and wash my car. So it's come off the Clubman completely fine. So I'm not sure if it's affecting certain paint work, certain methods of paint, fresh paint, old paint, I don't know. The Clubman's paint's 40 odd years old, it's washed straight off it. I don't think that would have been a lacquered process, it would have been a straight paint from the factory and a lot of the paint is factory. So dealt with that, perfect. This one on the other hand, three and a half years ago it was painted. It's obviously a base coat and a lacquer process. It's reacted completely differently to the mud. I'm going to swing you around and we'll have a look at the other side. Right, we're on the other side of the car now, the side I've not dealt with. It's quite poor, but you, can you see? You can almost see where all the mud has been on my car. So I'll try and move the camera around at a few different angles and you'll be able to see it catching. Obviously the car's been washed, it's always waxed, it's always quite well detailed this car, but you can see exactly where all the mud has gone up over my car. Now the speckles on the front of the car where the mud's hit is there, um, and it's all over it. So. If we're drawing it closer to it, you might be able to see it. There you go. You can see what I mean now. And it's almost flat. It does not come off. The car's been washed from a wash of really good products. Um, if you've watched one of our other videos, you will see that you know we use quite decent products to keep the car clean. But look, you can see the look, it's all here. You can see it. Basically, like I say, everywhere mud's hit, it's damaged the paint. So, yeah, not good. Right, so we're back on the side that I've cleaned now. You can, I'll, I'll push you closer in a minute, but you can see uh, this side I've, pol I've actually physically have to polish it. Um, I tried a few methods. There's a few real big pain in the ass parts on the bonnet that have they've been a bit trying to get off, to be honest. Um, I started off with a minimal tactic, which was clean the car, any of your good shampoos out there on the market, we use the, the, the wash and wax auto glim. I'm not big enough auto glim, but that's what we use. If you watch our video, you see that. This is my go-to for everything. It's a, com it's a good liquid compound and it, it, it really cuts into the paint, basically. Um, I tried it by hand and it's having none of it. Um, and I have actually had to get the machine polisher out with a, not a, I wouldn't say a, a rough pad, but a coarse-ish, sort of pad um, to really get it stuck into it. I've sprayed the surface with some water, then put some of this on the pad and hit the bodywork of that. It's come up well. I'm pretty shocked it's come off now. To be honest, the car could have done with a really good machine polish, but I didn't want to have to do this. But I've merely put this video out now. It's an, sort of an urgent video. If you can post it around once you've watched it, to, just in case anyone else has had any same issues. This is my method, this has worked for me. Please don't follow it if it's not what you wanna do. Um, I'm not big enough any of these companies either, but there's so many people at IMM, there's so many people with cars, maybe not even their minis, some of their daily cars they've come with. Um, yeah, please, please, please share around. This is how it's, this is, this gets it off really well. Um, please don't leave your cars till the weekend to wash. Just get stuck in and get them clean because I don't know if this stuff stays any, any more and the paint is gonna do any more damage. Um, the only thing I can put it down to, I don't want to say it stuff's been thrown in the mud, but maybe 
uh, it's either going to be a animal uh, animal sort of waste that's maybe reacted with the with the, in the fields within the mud and the water, or one of the toilets has leaked detergent into the water and we've all driven through it and trashed it around everywhere. I really don't know. I can't put any sort of answer on why it's here, but it's here and this is how I've dealt with it. So um, please go away and clean your cars. That's what I urge you to go and clean your cars because I don't know what long-term damage it can do. Like I say, it's not affected the Clubman. The Clubman's a solid paint, no clear coat, and it's that's absolutely fine. It's come off that. If you saw it at the weekend, you'd see it's, it's yeah. i say no more on that. Um, but this is beautifully silky smooth now. I'll, fi uh, I'll finish up with showing you this panel that I have done, and you can see that it's completely gone. So yeah, please get out there and wash your cars, guys. Please share this video around to anyone that you know who's gone, like your mini clubs or anything like that. Please get the word out. I don't want it to happen. I don't want any long-term problems from people. So the other uh, the other way I was going to go, if I couldn't get this off, was just some really fine sandpaper, flatten it, and then polish it. But luckily, I've not had to get in too involved with it. So machine polish the whole car with this, and I'm sure I'll be okay. Right, please share this around, guys. Catch you soon. Bye. See there guys, I'll leave that pad there on the floor just to prove the reflection. There's no there's no muddy marks in it now, it's a bit polished there that I've not rubbed off. But look, it, the machine polishing's worked for me with that with that um, G3 formula, so there you go. There's no water, there's no mud marks on there at all now. So please please go and give it a go.